Would you love to be able to cut tin cans to use for crafts, but you just hate the prospect of jagged edges? Well, have we got a tool for you. Today's tool talk is special because this is a tool that we actually designed ourselves. Here's what you'll be able to do with this tool to cut a tin can. And this is the tool all put together. Now this one is a little thinner than the one we are using here. This is a thicker stock. And that's because we want to be able to cut right here, just below that sort of area that pops out here at the rim. So depending on the size of your can, like for instance, the San Pellegrino can has a much narrower top here as compared to this one. So here's the tool all built and I'll show you the components. You can go to birdsofafeather.ca to pick up your template on our Birds on the Fly free beat library. All you have to do is subscribe and you'll have free access to all our freebies. So here are the components. That's the top, that's the bottom. We've got a blade and here we're covering the blade and all we're using for that is this spine that's used for um, it's used for reports. It's like a plastic report spine. So we just cut a piece off of that. So once you cut your pieces, you're going to want to drill two holes where it's indicated and you're going to want to countersink it. And what you're going to do is drill a hole that's larger than the dimension of your screw. And that's because you want it to be able to slip through the top easily. Then what you're going to do is you're going to place it over your bottom piece. You're going to mark for your next drill holes. And those are going to be the same dimension as your screw so that it holds tight. It's really important that you drill a larger hole on the top and a smaller hole that will accommodate the size of the screw exactly. Once you've got your two pieces, you're going to want to take some sandpaper and sand. Now this is our prototype, so we've yet to sand it. But as you can see in this next one here, we've rounded the edges and it's beautifully sanded. There's nothing rough at all. The other thing we've done is we've got this sort of dig out here and that's so that you can hold it when you come to cut the can. It makes it very easy to grip. So let's put this one aside. I'm going to put our blade cover on. There you go. We'll set that aside. And essentially all you're going to do is you're going to place your blade at an angle. This is like approximately 45 degrees. We just taped it down to hold it. We're going to take our screw, place it in our hole. And of course you're going to pre-mark for this so that you know where to drill on the bottom. There, first screw in. We'll get our second screw in. Tighten that right up. Now do yourself a favor and mark sharp on the top here so that if you do forget to put this little cap back on, which you can see there, um, at least you've got this warning if you do forget. So there you go, there's a tool and I encourage you to watch the next video where I show you how easy it is to cut the cans. The last step in making this tool is to cut yourself a circle template here. Um, this one is made out of plastic and essentially it is the same dimension as the top of the can here. It's going to fit down in there and hold it tight as you spin. And then as you see on the video, you're just going to hold this up against it, rotate it around, and then you'll be able to cut it. But like I said, look for the video in the upper right corner and go watch it. But before you do run and watch that video, I just also want to mention that you should get yourself some gloves. This is a cut resistant glove. This particular one is from Microplane. And this other glove that I wear on my left hand when I'm cutting cans is a rubberized glove. And you'll see in the next video why I wear two different gloves and what the advantage of that is. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make our new and innovative tool to cut cans. See you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications of our upcoming projects. Signing off for now, keep your friends close and your tools even closer.